Most European forests are still managed by clear cutting, despite the destructive impact on environment, forest ecosystem, climate and society. Even if trees are replanted in such an area, the soil is degraded and we will have a massive emission of CO2 for decades. After 15 years as a forest owner, we saw that this clear-cutting system don't give any profit for the country and the small forest owner. Welcome to our forest. This little pond is uh, left untouched because we think it's very important to have a part uh, of the forest that we can go back and see how it looks when we don't do anything. We decide to think it over and um, start with restore our own forest and uh, try to get more of a closer to nature forestry. And it feels very good and looks very good and it gives us a better profit actually. So we are very happy with this. Uh, the forest plan suggested that we should clear cut the whole area and plant it. And uh, we didn't, because we want to have this forest feeling very close to our Dala Gård. So we have this ecotourism business here, and it's uh, great to take people out here. And they start to talk lower and lower, and you see they relax. And they love to see a forest we are not uh, a part of this clear-cutting system. So I think it's so important to go from this monoculture to a mixed forest with a lot of different species. When we bought this farm in 1990, we had a forester and he told us that you should leave this. And you see nowadays we have all kinds of trees here, small trees, big trees. And if, we, if you're going to leave this for another 50 years, we're going to have a lot of very important biodiversity here. Mm -hmm. And this is what a normal forest should look in Sweden. This is a typical forest. Nature restoration also means that valuable old growth forests need to remain untouched. We see here they are preserving a lot of species, a lot of biodiversity and a big amount of CO2 is stored in the wood and in the soil. That's amazing and that's why I also like this old growth forest because all the trees are individuals here. I, I think that we need to protect and understand the forest ecosystem to be able to manage it in the right way. This is like an endangered species. It's like vulnerable on the red list. So when I find this species in a forest, then I can tell the people, I know that there was a forest here 600 years ago. That's the way of determining the age of the forest, not the stand of the forest. And that is so fantastically nice to know this species and the ecology of the species, because you can read the forest. Those species are your alphabet. Nature restoration in forests means both protected areas and regenerative forestry. We need untouched forest areas as a reference and biodiversity hotspot. And as well, we need forest practices that respect natural processes. Forests are the lungs of our earth, so we must keep them alive.